Welcome to another Keyshot 9 feature tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about using Keyshot's patent pending reel cloth to create highly detailed and realistic woven materials. For this tutorial, we'll be working with the reel cloth demo available through the Keyshot welcome window during startup or by hitting the hotkey W. If you would like to apply your own reel cloth material, enter the reel cloth folder in the materials library. Here you'll find a number of real cloth options in different weave patterns and colors that can be applied to your model. With the material applied, we can open the material in the project panel and make adjustments. To do this, select the project materials list under the project panel and make sure the preferred material to edit is selected. For users of Keyshot 9 Pro, You'll notice that multiple sub-materials have been assigned within the Multi-Material tab. This is a great way to non-destructively explore material variations. However, for this tutorial, I'll convert it to a standard material by clicking the Multi-Material toggle button. To edit the material, there are two options. You can either edit directly from the Property sub-tab under the Material tab, or you can open the Material graph and edit through there as well. Within the tab or graph, mapping, warp, weft, and geometry can be edited by all users, while the edit weave pattern is exclusive to users of Keyshot Pro. To edit mapping, select the mapping accordion. At the top of the accordion, there's a scale mode option where you can select between units and UV. When the unit option is selected, Keyshot will define the scale based on the scene units while the UV option defines the scale relative to the size of the coordinates assigned in your modeling software. If you notice any scaling discrepancies while using the UV option, try working with the scene units instead by selecting the units option. You can also edit the weave by adjusting warp and weft. Warp pertains to editing vertical threading while weft relates to horizontal threading. Keyshot 9 Pro users can further edit the weave using the Edit Weave Pattern tab. The scale, angle, and distortion of a material can also be edited in the Property sub-tab, and if you're having issues with moiré patterning on a model, try adding some anti-aliasing to solve the issue. I'd like to mention here that assigning UV coordinates within your CAD software is imperative to a successful rendering. If you're having issues with patchiness or incorrect mapping of a material, consider going back into your modeling software and editing your UV coordinates, then re-importing. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the geometry accordion. Here you can add loose strands of material called flyaway fibers. These are used to more closely mimic the realism of a physical cloth material. If you are working from the imported demo material, Flyaway fibers will already be selected. Under the geometry accordion, you can edit several aspects of the fibers, such as density, length, length variation, and fiber direction. You can also flip normals, which will change the direction of your fibers, or add transparency, which will make the gaps between fibers more visible. After making your adjustments, select the Execute Geometry Nodes button and let your image res up to get a preview of your real cloth rendering. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 feature tutorial. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.